Welcome to our orientation video for food rescue volunteers. Thank you for wanting to volunteer at Nourish KC and help with our food rescue program. Your service hours will help feed community members all over Kansas City. In today's video, we are going to cover what to wear for your volunteer shift and how to prepare for your shift, items to bring, logistics of where to go for each pickup and drop off location, and how to load the donated items into your vehicle. Let's get started. In order to keep everyone safe, we will be following COVID procedures, including social distancing, wearing a mask at all times, washing your hands after using the restroom and at the beginning and end of your shift, sanitizing your car and all surfaces, including the crates of food before and after the shift, and avoid touching your face. If you are feeling ill at all, please stay home and contact the Nourish KC team. Our volunteer is ready to go with all of the proper gear to start her food rescue. Notice she has on a Nourish KC t-shirt, pants, tennis shoes, hat, her hair pulled back, a mask, and gloves. Some items you may want to bring with you for your food rescue shift is a water bottle and maybe your own gardening gloves. To prepare your car for your volunteer shift, you may want to bring a towel or blanket to lay down in case of any spills or leaks from the food and your car is cleaned out so that you can put as many crates of food in as possible. Before completing a shift on your own, you will participate in an orientation to shadow the food rescue driver and receive your volunteer starter kit. Pause here and check to see which Whole Foods location you will be picking up food from. Each shift will go to one Whole Foods location, while this video will include both. Once you get to the Brookside Whole Foods, go to the back of the store. If you're turning off of Brookside Street, turn on to 51st Street, then turn right onto Oak Street at the three-way stop. It may be easier for you to back your car into the loading station to put the donations in. You will be going to this donations rack and putting it all in your vehicle. If you need black crates to load the food in, there is a pallet by the garage door that should have some stacked up. If you need a cart or U-boat to transfer the donations to your car, go up the ramp and knock on the door. Tell them you're picking up donations with Nourish KC and ask for a cart or U-boat. This video is the average amount of donations we will get on a Saturday. Load up the cart or U-boat with the donations from the rack. As you see Jimmy doing, compost any produce you see that is bad. If the crates are too full, you won't be able to easily stack. Make sure you take out any items that are overflowing and put them in a new crate so they don't get smashed. Once you have filled your car, immediately go to Shawnee Community Services so the food stays at a safe temperature. Go to the back of the building by turning onto Barton Street. You will pull up to the fenced area and then get a cart or U-boat to start loading the donated food onto them. A volunteer or staff member should be there to take the cart for you or show you where to put it. After you've dropped off all your food, you're done! You can do a little celebratory dance knowing you have helped prevent food from going to waste and provided food for your community members. Great job! Once you get to the Overland Park Whole Foods, go to the back of the building by using the second entrance off of Glenwood Street. You may want to back your car in so it's easier to load the donations. Go inside and say that you're with Nourish KC picking up donations. Someone will bring out a U-boat of food. 
Bring the cart of donations down the ramp and load it into your car. Compost any produce you see that is bad into these bins. If the crates are too full, you won't be able to stack them. Make sure you take out any items that are overflowing and put them in a new crate so they don't get smashed. When the U-boat is empty, take it back up the ramp and leave it inside the doorway. Once you have filled your car, immediately go to Shawnee Community Services so the food stays at a safe temperature. Once you get to Shawnee Community Services, go to the back of the building by turning onto Barton Street. You will pull up to the fenced area and then get a cart or U-boat to start loading the donated food onto them. A volunteer or staff member should be there to take the cart for you or show you where to put it. After you've dropped off all your food, you're done! You can do a little celebratory dance knowing you have helped prevent food from going to waste and provided food for your community members. Great job.